Hi, my name is Daniel, and today we're going to be talking about user role assignment in Permit.io. So you probably know roles from applications like Google Docs, or you can share a document with someone and you can assign them with roles like viewer, commenter, editor, stuff like that. Now, instead of building all this functionality from scratch, we can do it really quickly with Permit.io. So to set up an Arbic policy with the Permit UI, we'll need three things. We'll need a resource, well, the thing that we want to manage access to, the actions that a user could perform on said resource, and of course, roles. In this video, we have already set these things up in the Permit UI. If we go to the Policy tab here, you can see that we have a document set up here with two roles, an admin and an editor. Here are the actions that our users can perform on this document. Create, delete, read, and update. Having roles is great, but we also need actual users to have access to these roles. So let's see how we can quickly assign these roles to actual users. So we go to the Users tab and we add a new user. The user requires a key, so let's just fill in the email for now. The key doesn't have to be the email, but it just needs to be a unique identifier. I'll just type my own email here. Now that we have this filled out, it's as easy as going to our back permissions here and picking the roles that we want to assign to this newly created user. So let's decide that I want to be the admin for this document, so I assign myself the role of admin. Click save, and that's it. Now I have the admin role. That means that I'll be able to do all of these actions on the document. I could also create another user. Let's call them another user. Now I have the admin role and this user has the editor role. I could also add another role to this user. And now this user has two roles, an admin and an editor. That means a single user can have multiple roles at the same time. And that's it. You can go to Permit.io and try it out for yourself.